Endosymbioses can be viewed as a means by which the intimacy of microbial consortia is increased to a the logical conclusion. Instead of having two cells adjacent to one another and sharing compounds across their adjacent membranes, uh, instead you have one cell that's found inside of the other cell, and as a consequence, that co the compounds released from that cell go directly into the cytoplasm of the host cell, and in return, the compounds that are found in the host cell uh, need only cross a single membrane rather than two membranes in order to reach into the cytoplasm of the endosymbiont. As a consequence, the intimate association and sharing of compounds between two organisms becomes more efficient. The result is that the two organisms are able to display a more effective interaction. In addition to this, because of the association with one cell inside of another, the re reproduction of the two cells often can be highly linked together, and as a consequence, the potential for these two cells to evolve into a coordinated and cooperative unit is high.